It's early morning and Apple has invited us behind locked doors inside a store that hasn't opened for a private showing of the iPad. And I can also transpose this keyboard, grow it. This is the first glimpse since the much anticipated device was announced. Even Apple employees haven't gotten this close. All the while, Apple reps tote the otherwise secret iPads around in a padded black case like spies on a mission. So do you love this iPad? The hype over the iPad is already in overdrive. The all-in-one half-inch thick device will go head-to-head -head with Amazon's popular Kindle in the growing e-book market. Amazon has so far dominated e-books and the company is worried about the iPad, which comes with its own bookstore and the ability to surf the internet, play movies, and more. Apple is famous for its ability to keep new products secret, and that doesn't just include the general public. It turns out many of the companies developing apps for the iPad still haven't gotten their hands on one. They are part of a huge new industry born from Actually, Apple's you know what, coattails. We have 900 people in the organization working on iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad games. And that's in the span of around 18 months. Those 99 cent downloads really add up. Take Gil Wong, for example, a Stanford professor who came up with a flute-like instrument for the iPhone two years ago. The idea sold millions. I think one thing not to be underestimated is really kind of the critical mass and the scale of, of mobile devices. Whether the iPad is a hit or not, new businesses are already banking on it, and the competition is worried. Neil Karlinski, ABC News, Los Angeles.